Hi guys, I have got to get out there on this beautiful, uh, this beautiful 70 degree summer day in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a gorgeous Saturday, June 17, 2023, and I got a bunch of folks checking in, making me some money this weekend. It's about time, and uh, before I go, I just couldn't, <laughs> I could not resist this, guys. I, I had to send this story to my good friend uh, Mark J, who uh, is not a militant vegan. Uh, however, he supports militant vegans, I guess. So anyway, how many of you have seen this viral video, which is hilarious? viral video of deer eating a snake and coming out of the great state of Texas you can find it I guess this thing is on uh, I don't know if it's on uh, on Instagram uh, <laughs> for all you uh, for all you vegans out there talking uh, about how uh, carnivores uh, <laughs> I don't know. You can find this yourself. Just put in deer eating snake from the great state of Texas. There you go. All you vegans. Uh, <laughs> that is a tasty looking snake. Ugh, Jesus. So, anyway, this is actually an article on live science, and it's talking about how these people who think that deer are, are vegetarian or, or, or vegan. Uh, I, I honestly didn't realize this. Uh, but it's not unusual I at all. Uh, in fact, this creature is one in a surprisingly long line of deer that have shown a taste for blood. Then here is the, then they have a video of a deer eating a live fish. Uh, here is another video showing someone probably in Texas feeding a raw chunk of steak, hand feeding a deer with this deer eating a raw hunk of steak. Uh, field cameras have captured images of deer nibbling on dead rabbits. Uh, and like, here is red deer in Scotland be, beheading seabird chicks and gnawing on their legs and wings. Uh, here is where deer were seen. Uh, eating birds where these biologists had put these things called mist nets, you know, to catch songbirds, to band the songbirds. And instead of finding the, uh, the live songbirds, they found a bunch of mangled corpses. And what it ended up being is that these, these ornithologists to study the songbirds would put these mist nets over the trails. And then the deer would come along at the crack of dawn and eat the songbirds captured in the... Uh, uh, and the, to top it all off, here... <laughs> Here was a deer caught on camera as one of the many scavengers at the site of a decomposing human corpse on an experimental body farm. 
in a chilling series of photographs, the deer can be seen noshing on the grisly end of a human rib. There you go. So it sounds like, uh, assuming there are any deer left uh, after the zombie apocalypse, which there won't be, because obviously every deer and every other animal on this planet will go into the stew pot uh, on our way out. But uh, maybe before they get thrown in the stew pot, a few of the deer will be able to munch on rotting human corpses while they still can. And anyway, all of this talk about corpses, uh, before I get busy with my Joe Pie weed, I think I need to go get some corpse out of the uh, refrigerator and uh, enjoy one of my fellow earthlings before one of my vegan fellow earthlings enjoys gnawing on me. Did you see that uh, story about the guy having his coffee in Arizona yesterday morning? Sitting there having his coffee and a fucking bear just jumped on him and killed him and dragged him off. Uh, good Lord. I, I was sitting uh, drinking my coffee on the back of the tiny house reading the story about this 66-year-old man enjoying what turned out to be his final cup of coffee uh, before being attacked and killed by a bear. My comment on Yahoo was, I hope he enjoyed his last cup of coffee while he still could. <laughs> you never know when your number's up. Get out there and enjoy it all. Enjoy the sound of existential dread while you still can. Bye, guys.